In such a delicate place Staring my future in the face Hearing each bitter, each bitter thing that they say so yeah, like Amy was saying about her cousin and stuff like that and worrying about the weight on the scale. I was never like that growing up. I was a very active kid. I was always kind of skinny, like scrawny skinny. And then I hit probably like 12th grade and I started to gain weight. You know, I was like 18 or something like that. I went to college, did all the wrong things when it comes to eating and probably drinking a little too much and gained my freshman 15 or more, who knows. And, uh, you know, we did the P90X in a small apartment in the middle of the summer, me, her, and my brother. And I mean, I lost like 20 pounds. You know, yeah. or something like that. And uh, and I don't think I've ever really gained that much back ever again. I have fluctuated. But even when I'm at my skinniest and healthiest looking, I still question my body. And that's a struggle that I work with on a daily basis. And I would hate to sit here and actually say that I blame it on the media. As part of it is the media because you see things and you think that you should look that way. And you s it's just stupid. And, and I have to remind myself daily that it's just like, Nope, I look fine, and uh, you know I'm beautiful in my own way, and everybody else is too, and it doesn't matter. And you know some people can pull off an outfit way better than I am, and it doesn't matter if they're skinnier or shorter or anything. It's just you know their confidence in their personality, and so as long as you have some confidence, confidence in yourself, confidence is huge. It is a process, though, and I know for me, I was at a forum last year, a landmark forum. And I had like an aha moment. I was sitting in the in the mirror. It was like a really long body full length mirror. And I was like, why the heck am I so wrapped up about weight? I am an average weight for my height. What the heck is wrong with that? And the answer logically is absolutely nothing is wrong with that. And I do yeah. think... I can only speak about being having an experience as a woman, obviously. I'm sure guys, of course, have their own things. But I think also as females, we put way more emphasis on body than, than prospective suitors would. Yeah. Right? I mean, I think that is definitely true. And here's the thing, though. It can take only one a-hole to say something to you when maybe you were 12 or 13 years old. Like, for me, it was Isaac. Isaac was the one that told me when I was 12 years old at a dance well, she kind of has like a flat ass. You know, and I, we were in the landmark form and it was like this other girl, she had the same issue. It was like a pool party. One of this little guys, and she remembered the name, went up to her and basically said that she was too chesty. So from the next years, her formative years, she was trying to always like hunch over. She'd wear baggy sweatshirts. She'd become more dressing like a tomboy. People, so we've got to get over this stuff. Some I mean, guy who doesn't even matter to her. Like, and his he, opinion was, uh, you know what I mean? Like, who It's just a that? stupid kid saying something stupid. Yeah. And, and yet we... As all human beings, let certain things affect us. What happens if we put meaning onto those things where maybe the meaning, we don't have it right? Because yeah. the only thing that ever exists is there are actions. But then we all assign our own meaning to them. We make up our own story about, well, what does it mean that I said that to me? Okay, that can go as far as, well, it means I'm not as pretty as Jessica. It means that I'm not as worth as much as Jessica. It means, you know, all these, and it, and it just can go into a tailspin. And if you talk about this become a habitual thing for 10, 20, 30 years, of course it's very difficult to break out, but that's why we have each other. That's why we have a support group. And that's why, again, transformative learning. So learning through people, through experiences, through having your own aha moments, for whatever rings true for you, is this very important. And that's why me and Meg are doing what we're doing. Definitely. And uh, to add on to that, like seriously, um, it comes down to education in a way, I guess. I would say that it comes to the point where you have to, you know, just realize that you can't ever force somebody to act a certain way or change what they said or anything like that. But what you can control is how you react to what people say and you react to situations. You have that control. That's the only control you actually technically ever will have. And so when it comes time to react and it comes time to think about what they said, you know, really take into consideration, like, instead of, like, looking at yourself and judging yourself, and I'm not saying to go judge them either, just think, like, well, why did they say that? You know what I mean? Because there could be reasons that they said that. Maybe nobody in the family was ever busty and chesty, you know what I mean? Like, you don't know why people say or do the things they do, and so what's important is that you react a way that isn't going to compromise who you are as mm -hmm. a person, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and what it comes down to as well is that looks are going to fade. 100%. Yeah. You're going to get old. Everybody's going to old, and they're going to die. You know what the uh, cause of death is? Wife. That's it. There wouldn't be death without life, and we all live it, aren't we? So you know what's going to happen? You're going to get old and wrinkly, and eventually you're going to die. And I'm not trying to be depressing, but, you know, 
work on your personality, work on your attitude. As long as you have a good attitude in life and you're always happy and trying to help others and your personality shines through on that, you're always going to be beautiful. And maybe not to every man, and that's perfectly fine, but to a guy that can see that, that's the guy that you want. We would love to hear from you. If you want more resources like this, you can also head over to amyandmeg.com. Grab our list. Uh, grab up the goodies because we love uh, connecting with people. That's really what this is about. And uh, we look forward to meeting you soon. But wait, there's more. You guys always in front of my face because you're always in the right of it. Oh, because you're all open? <laughs> How is that supposed to be? Uh, I'm going to do this one. Ooh. Okay, it works. Do you know that half the fresh so quick? Come on, Tony, swing it. I'm going to chop it. Just wait. And how? I need to wait. Stop. Camera time. Here you are, this dude. They all turn.